put it into the Minecraft seed, I noticed immediately that there was something unsettling going wrong. You see, Era 422 was most certainly one of Minecraft's scariest mobs. Now, I come from a generation in which Minecraft, when I knew about scary mobs, the first kind of mobs I knew about were Herobrine. But I didn't know about mobs like Era 422, as they were quite under the radar until as of recent. I noticed something was weird when I was looking at a faraway mountain that contained what seemed to be blocks of wool in a very scattered pattern. It seemed as if somehow the world had been translated or confused or somehow manipulated into this texture being applied. I wasn't exactly sure how it was done, but I was determined to find out exactly what had caused this in the biome in front of us. So, of course, before moving over, I did actually see a random standing there nearby. I did try to speak to him to ask him what was up and he did said I know you don't know me but you should be careful in this world. He wondering why but then I remembered what kind of seed we were on and what kind of video we were doing. He did say strange characters do exist and of course just be careful man. So of course do not go into the glitch to buy him and that was where I first realized exactly what I was dealing with on my hands. He said the glitch to buy him. So it seems like what was in front of us wasn't exactly just something random, but rather something that was 100% completely glitched and somehow a weird byproduct of Era 422. Now, I wasn't familiar with Era 422 at all. I didn't know exactly how crazy he was. I just know I wanted to go ahead and load into this seed. Now, of course, this seed wasn't exactly reminiscent of Era 422 because Era 422 is actually a Minecraft version and what we were on was a seed so it seemed that what would only happen was only the world would be affected and that's exactly what had seemed to happen. Of course I wanted to explore further but not before having this first conversation with what seemed to be another NPC and it said I've seen people go in and never return and it also said my wife went in there and I haven't seen her since. So it seems that he was praying that she comes back and that the story of this biome was quite dangerous. However, this didn't scare me. You see, I am an explorer and I wanted to get to the bottom of what Era 422 was on this seed. So of course, I continued on my journey. I jumped over here, jumped over many different blocks and the closer I came to looking inside what seemed to be the crazy seed, the more I became concerned. You see, not only was there an entire area that seemed to be completely glitched, it seemed as if the people in this world, the villagers, had realized that this was extremely dangerous and it cordoned off the area. What seemed to be two villagers wearing construction clothing ushered me away from the site. As I spoke full to them, of course they warmed me in with a welcome, but they quickly told me, did you not listen? You are not to go further. Trust me, it is dangerous. And of course, I listened to their cries and the other villager also said, do not go anywhere near there. So two villagers seeming yeah it was definitely quite scary and quite confusing because i hadn't seen this much dedication to preventing me from going somewhere ever but of course like i said i wasn't going to listen to a few villagers simply because it seemed dangerous i mean that was the entire reason we were exploring the seed after all we wanted to see exactly it contained you know i wanted to see exactly if era 422 was real if the legend was true and if this seed contained anything that I could potentially use to show you all the truth behind it. So of course, I skipped past the villagers knowing that they would hate what I was doing. But at the same time, I realized that this was the only choice. I was now in an area where things were truly dangerous. I was at the mercy of whatever I may come across. And the thing that was most concerning was it was pretty hard to spot absolutely anything. You see, when you're in a world where there are many different things, it's easy to spot the trees because they're all different. But when one giant texture is pasted across, it's difficult to spot absolutely anything. Luckily, I was able to spot this woman, which at first I was confused, but she then told me if I could help her. She said that she was lost and that she doesn't know how she got there. So I was guessing that she was his wife and I ushered her to go back that way, but I think she was a little bit too scared. Of course, it wasn't my main journey to stop and to help people, but I wanted to continue on to see if I could find and get to the bottom of the truth of Era 422. And that is what I continued to do. As I continued to look through, I realized that whatever biome this was before, it definitely was entirely consumed and that there were still some remnants of Era 422's doings and he was clearly nearby. And I was truly scared when I approached this soldier who was laid on the ground. I spoke to him and what he told me was truly scary. He said, 
that me and my team went in. Half of us didn't make it out. Don't go there. So it was truly a terrifying experience because he looked like he was in bad pain and that him and his team had suffered what seemed to be some sort of casualties. Luckily for me, in his chest, there were a set of armor and shields and this would, would prove vital in saving me from whatever was going to be in front of me at the time. So of course, I decided to equip whatever armor I could, apply it on my character and reluctantly and cowardly continue to move forward into this world. And out of nowhere, I actually luckily noticed that there was some character moving nearby. At first, I thought it might be a zombie based on his color scheme, but I realized that it seemed to be some kind of glitch player that seemed to be maybe the brother of Era 422 or maybe somehow someone that was glitched inwards. I wasn't exactly sure what was wrong with him. He didn't really say much, but he looked like some kind of anomaly. So I quickly sprinted away. The next part was truly where things went south. This was where the first encounter became true. And this was when I knew that I was dealing with something out of this world. Now, of course, I decided that my shield was going to be something I needed to have on me at all times, because if I didn't have it on me at all times, I was going to be in a world of trouble. And I realized that if I was going to find Arrow 422, I needed to stay inside the biome and up my render distance, because if I was going to see him, I needed to make sure I saw him first before he saw me. Out of nowhere, the world glitched me back and it started to rain. And that's when I first knew things were particularly strange. As every time I wanted to get closer to the final diamond staircase, something strange kept happening. And the finally, I made it. But I realized that he was there, just standing, not moving at all. And this was truly scary. Why wasn't he attacking me? Did he not see me? Did he not care? What was going on? And the sign literally said, death zone. So eagerly, I decided that I would test out just how crazy and scary this mob was. I decided to move forward and closer and closer to Era 422. So I wanted to see if he was truly going to attack me or do anything to stop me coming near him. It was only until I got really close that he decided to come closer to me. And he said that darkness was upon me. I wasn't exactly sure what he was trying to do or what he was trying to achieve, but clearly he was somehow angry with me. I decided that it would be best to see just how strong he was and just how scary this individual could have been. And as he hit me, I realized his true power. He first failed to break my shield, but as I came closer to him, and once again, we glitched back to the start. This was definitely confusing because I did want to try and fight him, but something just kept happening. So I decided this was my last time exploring exactly what was going on. So I made my way up the second time and I decided that I would go straight to the top to see if there was any kind of revelation or any kind of secret. And as I did that, he did actually come down to me. And luckily, it was truly terrifying what happened. The moment he hit me, I was completely destroyed and then my game started to glitch. I wasn't exactly sure why. I spawned right back where I had started nearby, but I didn't think I would ever see him again. And I did try to quickly run through the forest to see if I could see him, but it was too dark, there was too much water, and I just honestly couldn't see exactly what was going on. It seemed as if Era 422 was there to maybe teach me a lesson and potentially show me just how dangerous he was. I did have full armor, I did have full everything, but he just obliterated me without any cause. It was quite interesting, and I think next time, maybe I'll see him soon.